Hey sneak peekers, we're here on the carpet of Sasquatch Sunset to learn more about the film. So, quick question. Um, I know that you guys did a lot of character work leading up to the production of this movie. So how is it different working on the improv of this movie into production of the movie? Oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, uh, we went, we, did, we created like a Sasquatch like boot camp like prior to filming the movie, which just included like a uh, movement coach, like coming up with literally like a uh, vocabulary for the words or the grunts that we use when we're dealing with each other, when there's conflict, when we're ser when we're seeking out other Sasquatches, different vocal, you know, uh, utterances. Um, and it was so much fun during that week of Sasquatch boot camp. And then the actual filming of the movie was fun, but also like insanely excruciating because, you know, you're wearing face makeup, like glue on every, I just want, I just want the wonderful students of UT to picture putting glue all over your face. And then once the glue is there, putting hair all over the glue. And then once the hair is there, spray painting the hair to look a certain thing. And then dealing with that for like 12 hours a day. It's so painful. I don't need sympathy, but I just want understanding. And so that's what the daily experience of shooting was. And so it was like this physical exertion. And, that, and then like you would look in the mirror, you know, halfway through the day or whatever, and realize that this is like the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life and it's worth all of it. Yeah, of course, and with so much prosthetic makeup on, how is it portraying a Sasquatch, and what challenges came with that? Yeah, portraying a Sasquatch was interesting. Like, for me as an actor, like, I spent my life acting in regular movies, you know, playing myself, and you have, like, this unconscious censor of when you're overacting, meaning, like, when you're performing, but you're kind of, like, overdoing it, you know what I mean? And as, like, a film actor, you, like, notice censor yourself and never do that. That's, like, you know, the third rail of acting is don't <laughs> overact, you know? And this, being in a Sasquatch suit, being buried below so much makeup and costume, you realize you have to overact in order to convey anything. So I just had to like kill the sensor in my head of overacting. So just allow yourself to kind of overdo it a little bit because otherwise it's impossible to perceive what we're doing. You know what I mean? Because it's buried. There's there's so much more um, emotion that needs to be portrayed through the, you know the, the face of the Sasquatch and um, because we're communicating with eyes and facial expressions and things like that. So I've been in a lot of um, prosthetics where you just can't move your face at all, and so this this was very different in that in that regard. It's definitely more difficult to know how much is coming through, uh, especially you know the first couple of days of shooting. Uh, it, you know, I was asking questions about like, did, is this actually coming through, or is this, is this, do I need to do more? Because, um, you know, just, Jesse had mentioned that, you know, good acting is is kind of um, a little bit less, you know, when you're on camera. But when you have so much, so much prosthetics and so much glue on your face, you have to kind of o almost overact, which kind of feels like um, doing more than what you need to to do. Yeah, and it's interesting that you said that like you're nervous and asking questions while you're on set. What does it look like to be directed for a Sasquatch movie? Um, what what does it look? I, I mean, it looks great. It was <laughs> it was really fun. I, um, our direction was mostly you know make these creatures as authentic as as possible while they're doing some of the most ridiculous and absurd things that you can imagine. Um, and, and, and I don't know. I felt like we all understood the tone, and we all understood, you know, how we wanted to portray these these creatures. So a lot of your works are a little strange on the stranger side. How did you keep this movie grounded with such a silly premise? Um, that's a great question. We, I, I think it was just treating the creatures, the Sasquatches, with respect and naturalism. And you know, when we're going from their point of view, we didn't want to. Um, break that because I think once you break the uh, you know the 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 universe that you've created and you start bringing in other elements, it's it's easy to write it off as a gimmick, and you know just treat these creatures as if they are you know real and and not 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 a joke. Even though there's a lots of jokes in the movie and lots of silly things, like to to the to the Sasquatch, it's, this is real life, this is real struggles, this is real silliness, you know. Yeah, and I know like you had a little bit of troubles with the film, like a producer backed out and then Jesse came, stepped in. Mm. Was there a moment on set when you were confident that this is going to be a success? Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't, it's weird because we never like make movies hoping they'll be a success. We make movies hoping that we'll, we'll enjoy it, we'll enjoy the experience and then we'll make something that other people will enjoy. And I think like if you make something that's that's something that that's true to you and something that you want to see, 
uh, it's it's that's a win, and then you you just hope other people see the same thing you did to get excited about it when you were making it. When you talk about like effects on humanity through creatures that aren't human, I think it can be easier to, to bring up topics that um, might be more difficult or too on the nose if you just bring them up with humans. And so, um, yeah, I hope I hope this movie will um, will draw people in with the comedy and the and you know the. The, the tragedy and then also you know make them think about their position in the world do you have any advice for students pursuing filming or acting yes my advice to anybody pursuing acting is if you're going to do a movie in full body makeup and in full uh, face makeup just make sure you love it so much make sure you love the movie so much when I read the script I called David Zellner who wrote this script and I was like this is going to be many many people's favorite movie of all time every you know alt kid in high school and um, an adult who feels like, you know, out of place and likes kind of quirkier movies. Like, this is going to be their favorite movie of all time, which is the thing that got me through, like, this physical craziness every day. So, that is my advice to young actors. I suspect you wanted some, a different answer, but that's my answer as it relates to specifically to doing a Sasquatch movie. Since we're students, and I know that you and your brother live in Austin, do you have any advice for Austin filmmakers? Um... Yeah, for, for, for Austin filmmakers or just filmmakers in general, but yeah, especially here. I mean, in Austin, there's so many outlets to go see movies. You know, you've got the Alamo, you've got Austin Film Society, all the student organizations, RTF. Um, and it's just to get active and meet people and to, you know, because basically you're building a network of, of support. Because it's, if you want to be a filmmaker, it's a, it's, it's, it's a long 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 process and a long career and the more friends you have that are that you can lean on and 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 just give you advice and and cheer each other on i think that's that's the best thanks for watching if you want more of our south by southwest content go ahead and click on one of the videos over here